the mosquito, frozen in time for millions of years, and trapped within it, well, that discovery would change our world. For a while, we thought that this was as close as we could get to dinosaurs. Turns out, we were wrong. Years of research into how to complete the DNA sequence for a dinosaur led us to this. Life unlike anything seen on this planet for 65 million years. Jurassic Park. We know how well that went, but what if someone like you had been there to temper some of that rampant hubris? For Jurassic Park to succeed, you're gonna need to make sure it's safe for all your guests. This is the adventure of their lifetime. We don't want it to be their last. Everyone was so caught up in the moment, so impressed with what they'd accomplished. And then, chaos. A few years later, the dinosaurs made their presence known again at an island called Site B. Here was where InGen had cloned most of the dinosaurs that would eventually be transported to Jurassic Park. It was supposed to be secret. If not for human curiosity, it might have remained one. Peter Ludlow was now in charge of InGen, tasked with bringing his uncle's vision to life. John Hammond had wanted his precious animals to belong to the world. John sent a team to document the dinosaurs. What we found, to our amazement, was how quickly the dinosaurs had adapted. They had made the island their own. Ludlow had the investors. He had secured a location, but he still needed dinosaurs, and now he knew where to get them. What if chaos yielded a different outcome? What if Ludlow's mission was successful? and Jurassic Park San Diego had become a reality. Humanity and dinosaurs were never intended to be this close to one another. San Diego deserved better. So too did the dinosaurs. The human beings, well, they're predictable, curious, greedy. These intruders caused more chaos than anyone could have imagined. In the time we'd been away, people had gone from caretakers to threat. Simon Mazrani wanted to realize John Hammond's vision. Bigger, grander, more ambitious than the original. But dinosaurs have their own ambitions, to hunt, to feed, to carve out their niche in this strange new world. Let's see how things play out when we add you to the mix. Try not to get in their way, or you might be destined to repeat the past. This is where our journey continues. And for many, where theirs came to an end, Isla Nublar. This time, it's not just a park, it's a world. Simon Mizrani believed he could succeed where others before him failed. Maybe if he had you there to guide him, things would have turned out differently. Jurassic World, Jurassic World was to be the most desirable destination on the planet. New shows, new exhibits, and yes, new dinosaurs too. The miracles of science meets the magic of entertainment. You're not content with letting you see dinosaurs, no. You're being put smack dab in the middle of them, safely. That was the hope, anyway. And who's afraid of a little water? But what's swimming in that water? Well, that's another story. And if that's not enough, what about the dinosaurs nature didn't create? Each disaster and I'm not sure what else you can call them, has intensified the scrutiny on the entire Jurassic Park, Jurassic World concept. The island belonged to the dinosaurs. 
And as fate would have it, nature would ultimately erase what we had unleashed. Park or no park, the dinosaurs remained. And they still deserved the chance to survive. So a group was formed, the DPG, the Dinosaur Protection Group, led by Claire Deering. But what if chaos had played out differently and nature had not hit the reset button with such volcanic fury? What if Claire had the chance to go back to see what she could do for those that were left behind? And finally, gift the dinosaurs the one thing we should have given them from the start. Peace. <laughs>